is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen i know the i know the video is uploaded late all right depending on the time you're watching this if you're a if you're a notification squad member or you you know you watch the videos as soon as they upload you know that this video is going to be coming later probably like 8 30 central p.m pacific time or something like that but let's go ahead and get into it guys today we're going to be discussing the next mdt pay-per-view that comes after my damn nation obviously my damn nation is our wrestlemania that is the next pay-per-view show that we do have i have a lot of people asking where vindication episode is the next vindication episode episode number 16 that is coming soon you know i still again like i said i was trying to take a break from hell's gate because of all the you know the mental capacity that it took to put on that show and deliver that show so i was trying to get over that and then i was still trying to figure out scripting and getting the scripts finalized before I moved on and filmed that show so now that we are pretty much completed with that I can go ahead and start filming it I still haven't even torn down the arena yet from Hell's Gate so I still got to do that put the stage back up get Vindications ring in there all that good stuff still yet to come but the next show so you guys know that the next show obviously will be Vindication then it'll be MDT Live then it'll be Vindication then it'll be MDT Live then it'll be Vindication then it'll be MDT Live and then it will be My Damn Nation which is Wrestlemania then following that we will have the rest of you know our, our weekly shows vindication mdt live so the next pay-per-view this is not talking about the one that's coming up this is the show that will be after my damn nation big confirmed status here i do not have the exact name of it but i do know that it will be a war games match that is that is the uh, the big thing i don't know if it'll be mdt war games but i do know that it is going to involve a war games match that will have you know a war game stipulation there will be a match that will be a war games match or whatever you want to call that match it depends on whatever the hell you want to call it but in wwe and nxt it is going to be a war games match and here in mdt you guys don't know who the hell is going to be in the match but obviously i do because i know the scripting i know what's going to take place from here until then and i figured i could just come on here and let you guys know that and confirm it for you guys and let you guys know exactly what show will follow that because I did not have anything ready for today and I did want to get on here and announce that so I figured what would be a better day than today than to get on here and announce that to you guys but it will be obviously a war games match I do not think there will be two there will not be two war games matches I just think that's way too much I mean Jesus Christ like two elimination chambers was crazy I do not think there will be two war games matches at least right now in the script it does not seem that way, so we'll just have to see about that. If anything changes, obviously, you guys will be the first to know about it because it will play out on the weekly television shows of Vindication and MDT Live before that takes place. But for now, War Games is the next one. I would love to know down below, you know, at this time, I will be taking any pay-per-view name, you know, uh, ideas, any pay-per-view name ideas, anything cool. It's not going to be anything basic. You know, we try to go over the top or we try to do some things cool. I think the only really basic name we've ever had is Money in the Bank, and I still regret to this day calling it that. I just don't, I because I hate WWE stipulation pay-per-views, and there I am doing it. Uh, I know this was a while back, but I did not like that at the time, so that is something that we will be doing, and I don't know if you guys did see, we have some more announcements for MDT here. We do have another announcement possibly coming tomorrow revolving around My Damn Nation and stuff like that. I'll probably give you guys some details or something tomorrow, but um, for today we are going to be getting into, you know, just War Games match, stuff like that. And again, I do need a pay-per-view name. I want a pay-per-view name but the card is shaping up nicely for My Damn Nation, man. I mean, like, you could already kind of see some of the things taking place at Hell's Gate. If you guys watch that show, obviously, you're probably watching this video. But, uh, you know, a lot of things took place at that show that we're kind of shaping up to see what we're going to see next. You know, when we finally get there to the War Games pay-per-view, whatever it be, whatever you want to need, whatever the hell it's called, I, again, I want pay-per-view suggestion names down in the comment section below. I have a couple in mind. I'm going to reveal them here to you now, but I do have them in the back of my brain. But I have seen some epic you know, War Games matchups, specifically EWF, put on a fantastic War Games match that uh, is so excellent. You guys definitely need to go check that out. But I'm super excited for the challenge to do a War Games match, considering, you know, I probably won't do, like, standard rules. I'll probably have my own rules for the matchup because uh, I'm not going to do traditional stuff. You know, I like to do my own things and stuff like that. I get a little creative and stuff. I know that not all of our things have been super outside the box, but for the War Games match specifically, I definitely am going to do something uh, a little bit more unique. I'm going to do it a little bit more MDT-like, if you get what I'm saying. So if you guys have ever watched from the beginning of the pick fed, I've kind of progressed show by show. We've done a new challenge. We've done something a little bit differently. So we started out with Blackout. It was just your standard, you know, regular pay-per-view. Had some regular matches on there. A few crazy things here and there. Nothing too out of the box. Then we moved on to Money in the Bank. So I had Money in the Bank ladder match. Two of those.
shows that, you know, we got to challenge ourselves with, stuff like that. I enjoy doing ladder matches, so that was really fun there. And then we progressed to sold out, another regular wrestling, you know, style uh, pay-per-view, things like that. Came back to the Royal Rumble, never done a Royal Rumble before. That was really fun to do and experiment with and get better at. So then we uh, we went from the Royal Rumble into the Elimination Chamber at Hell's Gate. So I had a couple Elimination Chamber matches to get through. So now once we get to My Damn Nation, that'll be another, you know, full... The, the card at My Damn Nation will be full of all kinds of matches. So that goes back to, you know, your blackouts, your sold out, just sort of a... Uh, just re more regular wrestling matches, not more stipulations, but there will be some stipulation matches, obviously, but you get what I'm saying. And then after that, we go back to uh, stipulation style pay-per-view, or stipulation style is the main, you know, thing. Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble, Hell's Gate, all that had a main stipulation was sort of the theme surrounding it. It's not called, you know, that specific structure or whatever that match is, like Money in the Bank is, but it will be uh, revolving around the main match that everybody will probably be excited for will probably be the big war game style matchup which whatever that show's called that will obviously be the name of it but you guys see what I'm saying so it's very fun to challenge myself as we progress through the pick fed and uh, I'm excited man I want to know down in the comment section below does anybody have any projections for the my damn nation card I love to read anybody's future predictions for that what do you guys think the the match card is going to be I can go ahead and tell you the match card is probably going to have 10 plus matches on it for my damn nation and then the uh, the war games pay-per-view whatever that will be i would love to know what you guys think i mean you probably i don't think you could tell from right now so you guys can leave your comments down below what you think the war games match will be who it will be featured what titles will be on the line or if there is any titles on the line what do you guys think down in the comment section below i would love to know but i also have some more announcements coming tomorrow revolving mdt so i'm not going to reveal them to you now i just wanted to get on here talk about the war games matchup the war games pay-per-view following my damn nation give you guys some updated information but tomorrow I have even more information for you guys. We actually may have a couple new signees, uh, which is kind of crazy. After we just did the roster update video, we may have had a couple new signees. We may even be letting some people go. We may be cutting some talent from MDT. I just don't know about that yet. I'm still mulling over options in my brain. So that is definitely on the table there. So we may have a couple new signees tomorrow. We'll have some uh, more information regarding My Name Nation. We have uh, a bunch of other things coming soon. And then, of course, in the uh, at, at the same time, I'm still setting up. So tomorrow, I'll probably get the arena fixed up for Vindication 16, and then I'll start filming. And again, those are highlight shows, so I don't have to go through the entire show. I don't have to go through you know every single move of the matchup. It's more spots, and you guys see the result, and then it's more storyline-driven. So the weekly shows are more storyline-driven with highlights, and then the pay-per-views are full-based matches, more about the wrestling in the ring, more about you know progressing storylines through matches instead of through, you know, backstage segments and stuff like that. Even though we do throw in backstage segments, like at the Rumble, there was a ton of backstage segments, I feel like, which makes the show really fun. I really wanted to make that more like a WWE Royal Rumble, but that's besides the point. But you guys know how that goes. Again, me and Brad are actually... Uh, actually, I can't be with Brad at the moment because of certain things with the pandemic going on. My son, obviously, I'm not about to get my son um, in trouble with that. And uh, we, we don't know exactly if he's been exposed to somebody. Not my son, but uh, Brad being exposed to somebody, so we're not going to revolve around that. So we haven't been able to meet face-to-face -to, -face to go over the script, so we've been trying to, you know, get on the phone, text over the phone, write down stuff, and uh, do FaceTime and stuff like that to get these scripts finalized so that I can finally start beginning to work on Vindication and get everything exactly how we want it because uh, My Damn Nation is going to be the biggest show of all time, and we want it to be, you know, no, no stone unturned. We don't want anything crazy. We want it to be perfectly ready for you guys, and we want everything to work out. So from here... We, you guys know that we have the War Games pay-per-view coming after My Damn Nation, but before we get to My Damn Nation, you have three episodes of Vindication, three episodes of MDT Live, and at some point, I think after My Damn Nation, I'm actually going to do a, uh, actually, you know what, we'll, we'll get into that, we'll get into that tomorrow, I'll announce that all tomorrow, and we got some more announcements coming soon after that, but I think that is all the information that I wanted to give you guys for today. Uh, yeah, that, that was the big announcement that I wanted to get off my chest today. And tomorrow, again, we have a bunch of news revolving it. I'll probably be in the backstage area. I don't think I'll be a voiceover for that one. I'm going to be in front, or not in front of the camera, but behind the camera like we usually do. I'll get over there, get in the backstage area, showcase everything I want to showcase, show off everything I want to show off and announce everything and announce whether I'm cutting, signing, stuff of that nature. 
I will let you guys know. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm sorry for whatever. I hope you guys hung out to the end of the video, though. I really appreciate it. But let me know down below if you guys stayed this far in the video. Let me hit, hit me down below with a My Damn War Games down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Subscribe to the channel if I didn't say that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will show you, see you guys in the next video. Thank you.